All right, welcome everyone. In this short video, I'm going to give a brief tutorial on how you can begin typing Sanskrit language in transliteration in Roman characters using diacritics. This is going to be a tutorial and instruction for using Mac OS devices and Mac only. It's going to be slightly different for PCs, uh, and I just apologize. I don't know how to do this on a PC. Um, I'm sure it's similar but slightly different, and you'll have to look that up. So this is for Macs only. And I've written out this tutorial and workflow in PDF form, so you can download this as a PDF. Uh, but now I'm going to walk you through the steps in this video uh, to get your machine up and running so that you can begin typing in Sanskrit today. Typing Sanskrit with diacritics is an excellent way to deepen your knowledge and understanding of the language, to practice your pronunciation, and to know exactly which letters, which aksharas, uh, correspond with each of the sounds. Especially if you're doing any formal writing of an article or something for a publication or even an academic paper, it's really nice to be able to use diacritics. And once you get this installed, as you'll see, it's really easy and fun to type using diacritics. Uh, but there's a few steps here on the back end uh, that can be a little bit challenging if you don't have a tech background. Uh, but if you follow this workflow, hopefully not too bad. Okay, so the first step here is to ensure that you have a decent font that is going to have the proper extended range of characters uh, so that you can type these special diacritic characters. Now many different fonts here will work just fine and probably there's a lot of fonts that you already have installed on your machine that will be just fine, but it's highly recommended that you use what's called a Unicode font for typing Sanskrit in transliteration. And a few of my favorites include Gentium, Attilus, Palatino, and Tex Gyre Pagella. I don't know if I'm saying those correctly. Attilus and Palatino, I'm actually not 100% sure if those are technically Unicode fonts. The other two are, uh, but they tend to work very well with diacritics. This PDF document that you see here actually was typeset using Palatino. I've included all four of those fonts for you in a very handy font package, which you can download right here in the PDF. And I've also got the link below this video where you can download a compressed zip file of this font package. So the first thing you'll want to do is download that. Uh, download the zip file. And that's going to look just like this right here. Once you get that, just simply double click on it and that's going to decompress uh, our zip file. And then you've got the folder here with all of the fonts right here. So to install these fonts, um, you've got these TTC or uh, inside here TTF files. Both of those file types are fine. And what you're going to do then is open up application. So open up in, um, in your Mac, open up a new finder window. Okay. And what you're going to do is go applications and scroll down and find your font book application. Open that up. Okay. You've got your fonts right here. And you can literally just highlight all of these and drag and drop those right here anywhere in this window. I'm not going to do it because I already have them installed, but just drag and drop them right here into your font book application. And that's it. You're good to go. You've got your new fonts installed. Okay, so that's step one. Install your Unicode fonts. I'm going to close this up now. Okay, so once we've got our fonts ready to go, step two is to install a keyboard layout that's going to allow us to type the proper diacritic characters using one of those fonts. 
So there's a few different keyboard layouts that can accomplish this, but I recommend what's called the Easy Unicode Keyboard, which was developed by Toshia Unebe. And this layout is especially useful for Indic languages like Sanskrit, and Pali, or Hindi, and other such languages that are going to use these diacritic marks. So again, um, you can download this keyboard layout right here. I've got a link here in the PDF. There's also a link right below this video. So download that uh, zip package right there. And then you're gonna pull it up. It's gonna be this file right here. Again, double click, unzip that compressed file. And you'll see you've got your layout, your keyboard layout files right here. Um, if you click here, you've got some README documents that Toshia has put together, and there's some helpful stuff in there if you want to read more about this particular keyboard. Uh, but this is the file in particular that, uh, that we want. So now we need to install this file within our Max keyboard layout library. Okay, so depending on your version of OS, this might look a little bit different uh, depending on your setup, but you wanna open up another window in Finder and you wanna find your hard drive. Okay, start at the beginning, find your hard drive. You're then going to either click System and then Library, or for me, it's just Direct to Library. Okay, and once you have library open, you're then gonna scroll down to keyboard layouts. And then from here, you're simply going to drag this dot key layout file right into this window. I'm not going to do it again because here you can see I already have it installed here. Okay, so if, you, if you're in just keyboard layouts here, you can just drag this right in there and bada boom, bada bing, that's it. So here's the, the full uh, workflow here, hard drive, library, or it's gonna be system, library, keyboard layouts, and then drag and drop this key layout file right there. And then step two is done, easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close up everything here, clear that out. And now let's go on to step three, which is to enable that particular keyboard layout, okay? So after you've done steps one and two, uh, you're gonna follow this final workflow here, and then we'll be all set up and running. Okay, so to begin here, you're gonna go to, click on this little apple and go to system preferences. You're then gonna click on what for me is language and region. For some of you, this might say international. Okay, so click on that. And then here, you're gonna click on keyboard preferences. And then you wanna make sure that you're on input sources here. Okay, and we're now going to add a new input source. We're gonna add that easy Unicode uh, keyboard layout. So to do that, you're gonna hit this plus button to add a new source here. And you can search for it down here, or you can scroll down all the way and click on others. And if you had dragged that keyboard layout successfully into that library, it should show up right here as easy Unicode. So select that and go ahead and click add. And right there, boom, you've added the easy Unicode keyboard layout. Okay, now I would recommend here, step six, uh, I would recommend if you click keyboard here, make sure that this is selected, show keyboard and emoji viewers in menu bar. Okay, this toggling this on and off is going to allow this right here, show keyboard viewer to toggle on and off. And you'll see why in just a minute, why that's really helpful, especially in the beginning to have that enabled. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do now, we're all set up, we're all installed, but how do we use it? You simply click this international flag up here, this drop down menu, and it's gonna show you your different keyboard layouts that you have 
installed and that are currently active as these input sources right here, right? So you click that and then simply click Easy Unicode and now that keyboard layout is active. Now to see which keys you're able to use, you'll want to then go back and click Show Keyboard Viewer. But again, you have to make sure that this keyboard, that this uh, checkbox has been clicked, is toggled, and then you can click Show Keyboard Viewer, and then it's gonna pop up uh, kind of a visual view of your keyboard layout. Now that might not look any different right now, and that's because in order to type in Sanskrit diacritics, all you have to do is click this button right here, the Option button. And if you hold that down, now you see here uh, your entire range of diacritic keys that you can type with. So to type in diacritics, you're now gonna hold down Option and in combination press all of those other keys. Okay, so let's test this out now. You can open up your favorite text editing software. Uh, I like Apple's Pages. Open up a blank document. Make it a little bit bigger here so you can see. And let me move this. You can keep this uh, keyboard window open so that you can actually see, okay? And you can, if you hold down Option, it's gonna give you uh, those characters. So, Om. Namaha Shivaya. See? Om Ganapataye Namaha. Atman Shakti. Okay. If you want to type Using capital letters, you do the same thing. You hold Option, but you'll also then simultaneously hold down the Shift button, and it'll give you those diacritics with capital letters if you want to type a proper name. And so on. All right, well, that's it. That's how you set up fonts and install keyboard layouts on your Mac machines and how you can begin typing transliterated Sanskrit using diacritics immediately. So I hope that you enjoyed that and you're able to figure it out on your own device and that you have fun typing in Sanskrit. All right, thanks so much everyone, take care.